Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO, free impartial advice on all your debt. This is Umar Ahmed for IFL TV in association with MTK Global. I'm joined by the new British middleweight champion. Just go ahead, Ray, there. Yeah. <laughs> You're as happy as Denzel. Listen, I just want to say something, right? Go on, get in, Ray. Uh, a, a fella died last night from the Lion Club stand, right? He, he was 90 years of age. He trained, um, what's his name, Lawrence O'Coley to his first national title. So God bless you, Stan. Well said, well said, Ray. I'm guessing you're dedicating that win uh, to that, what just Ray said as well, and uh, a fantastic performance from yourself tonight, doesn't it? Yeah, man. Great performance from myself. Told I was going to stop him. You lot all looked at me funny, but it's all good. It's all good. <laughs> what are you talking about? Hey, listen, I'm, I'm just talking, I'm just talking, I'm just talking. <laughs> Yeah, just break the fight down for me. Um, first couple of rounds, you look extremely sharp. Um, yeah. How did you feel in there tonight? Much more improved since the first fight eight weeks ago? Yeah, man, much more improved. I told you, I'm a, I'm a guy that soaks everything up. So the first fight, you know, we just thought we can go in there and box, don't mix it with his power. And after that fight, you know, I felt what he, he possessed and I thought, and I knew I could take it. So this time round, we switched the game plan. The first, the first time round, we, we all agreed, me and my team agreed, we're going to box and our boxing beat him. But it may look like I was fighting scared because no one's seen me do that. I told you I got different, you know, aspects to my game. So this time we said we're gonna hold our feet, put in a stiff jab, put the backhand behind it, throw one twos and stand my ground a bit more. And you saw him on the back foot tonight, which people ain't used to. So yeah. And of course, uh, the right decision to to pull Mark out from from their side because you can see the eye was busted and just not safe to carry on, really. Yeah, no, it wasn't safe to carry on. I thought they were gonna pull him out a bit sooner, but I know he's a warrior. He wanted to carry on, so. But I knew, I knew Kevin was going to pull him out. I, I didn't think it would be that early. But I think in that fourth round, I hit him with a, with, a, with a stiff jab and I saw it just pop right back up even bigger. I thought, that eyes closed. Let me just keep staying on him. But I didn't want to rush my work and just fall over him. So I just kept what I was doing and just kept the single shots, the, the, the twos and threes, and moved off and just you know kept the centre. Yeah, it, it looked really basic in there, what you're doing, but so effective. That right hand just wasn't missing all night. Yeah, I knew it was there. I knew it was there. The right hand was there. It was there in the last fight. And I knew that, but I just didn't throw it because, you know, once you get into a rhythm, it's, it's hard to get out of that rhythm. So I just kept touching the shots and touching the shots and fell asleep on all these things. But this time, you know, he had better sparring, better everything, man. I know you've just beaten Mark in the rematch and you've got the Lonsdale belt around you now. So it's hard to think what's going to go next because you've just done this tonight and, and created a bit of history for yourself. But what does Denzel Bentley want next? Is it a fight with Felix Cash, perhaps? That's possible. I told you that in the interview before the, the first Mark Heffron fight, yeah, yeah. that I'd fight Felix Cash. But I've seen I'm, I'm, I've got a world ranking now. So, you know, if the better opportunities come, 100%. But listen, we're going to go back to the gym, talk to my team, we'll get back in and, you know, settle it. But I'd love to defend this. I'd love to defend this. If Felix Cash is next, Felix Cash is next. I'll have the Commonwealth on this shoulder, British in this one. We're all good to go, man. You know me already, I'll fight anyone. It's my 15th fight now, but in my 14th, I'm fighting Mark Heffron. I've been a pro for 10 years, 26 fights. How many knockouts, big banger. No one expected me to even take the fight let alone come here and win. So, listen, you don't know what I'm about. I've got heart. I'm, I'm in this game for the, the right reasons. I'm trying to fight. Career best performance by far? 100%. 100%. I feel good at 100%. I need, I'm, I'm going to go watch it back. I want to see how good it was. But I felt so good in there. Like, if it went 12, I would have went 12 at that pace. Easy. And uh, to do it live on BT Sport, main event as well for the British title. Couldn't have been better. Couldn't have been better. A main event, British title, my first title, British title. Like, that's mad. That's mad. And I didn't have a mad amateur background to, to say, oh, we're stepping him up fast because he's mad experience. I've just come in the game, short notice, and I've just spent my, the, since, since I've started boxing, I spent my life in the gym and just soaked up the game and learned and learned and learned and learned and learned. Do you intend to win it outright or if another opportunity presents itself, you'd rather take that? I said that from before. I thought, I didn't think I'd have the opportunity to fight for this this year. So I said to myself, if I fight for it next year, I'll spend the whole year next year winning it outright and then move on to world level because that's my experience in championship fights. Mm. But listen, who knows now, man? It's here now. Who knows what, where, where, where this could take me? But at the end of the day, if I could win this outright, I'd, I'd be happy. I'd love to keep this. Denzel, and the new, well done tonight on a stoppage winning against Mark Efron and uh, big things to come in 2021. Nice, man, and the new, man. But one more thing. Um, I just want to say, you know, I'm dedicating this fight not only to the man uh, Ray just mentioned, but also to my good friend that passed away this year, uh, Joshua Dabby, and my grandma, who I'm going to mourn next week Saturday in Ghana. So, yeah. 
well said. Uh, Denzel, yeah, well done tonight. Thanks for coming to IFL TV and uh, enjoy tonight. Yeah, I will. I will. Thanks. What's up, man? Well done, man. Is your debt causing you sleepless nights? Knock your debt out with Debt KO. And your debt won't be the only thing keeping you up at night. Debt KO. Free, impartial advice on all your debt.